I have looked at some scroll sort groups online recently and a lot of it is very nice artwork. Some of the people are artists on paper anyway and have just chosen to use a scroll saw and in terms of woodwork generally it's very popular and many of the people actually do woodwork that's far more precise than mine in terms of making a cupboard or a table or something. I've mostly restored or made copies of simple items that I like. A little stool or candle holders. Um, stuff that's old, really, antique. So I quite enjoy making things that look like they could be old. These brackets are a very perfect example of that because I'm copying the style of artwork from Victorian era and and further back in fact. For me, the method of creating the artwork would have been what I would call that compositing. So, in the very first instance, I'd copy or use Patrick Spielman's drawings on the gingerbread, which are fine, they're pretty good. I'd still make them if I was asked to. The patterns are okay, but they kind of lack precision in some manner, so they're rather simple. I think some of his other artwork is a bit more detailed, but the brackets can be a little simple. So the way I'd make them to progress on from that would be to what I call composite. So I'll go on the computer, get a, a drawing or a pattern I like, move it around and maybe add a bit, take bits from different patterns. So I just create a pattern on the computer in something like Photoshop or uh, PaintShop Pro. I quite like those two. But, and then I'll print it off. So, but I wouldn't complete it on the computer. I would leave 10, 20% unfinished. And then once the pattern is stuck onto the wood, I'd probably finish it off with French curves. So this method here, where I'm just drawing it basically in front of you on the camera is quite different. I don't really need the French curves. I can just sit down and draw a bracket. That would look a couple of hundred years old once it's stuck on a house. So it's a slightly more advanced position to get to. In fact, I don't really necessarily even make that many brackets now. It's odd I've decided I quite like making puzzles. And just almost for a joke, you know, people say, what do you do? And I say, well, I make puzzles because I want to see their reaction if I say that. Because it's very simplistic. But I find it amusing just to say, well, I make puzzles. However, oddly enough, 
a lot of people like puzzles and uh, a lot of people have tried them and find them quite interesting but anyway there is a video on that and this one is just on drawing abstracts basically because the design say on this technically predates Victorian era in fact it goes back much further so most artwork is channeled shall we say you have to connect to something the mind has to be empty and then you can channel your artwork and it comes out as it comes out when people say they can't paint or draw really I think that means they look at other people's work and think I can't do that but you'll notice I can't really do any fine art here I'm not you know, drawing detailed pictures of anything but it is well it's my artwork so my advice would be do your own artwork and don't worry about it. 